good guy. Yes, he is. He's a, he's a really nice guy, and uh, he, he works hard and trains hard. So we, we expect to see good things out of him this year. Nice. Um, what you, are the... Um, when you go to the contest, do you like, sometimes get the best trophy one? Would you, uh, what are there trophies? Are there uh, gift cards to Outback Steakhouse? Mm-hmm. Cars? If there gift cards, you wouldn't get them. Outback, they just go right into my back pocket. That's oh. because you wouldn't win. <laughs> the Outback is awesome. He's just making it is you wouldn't win. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, no, we have a lot of cool prizes from our, our sponsors, all the way from Dry Case to uh, Alpine Star, Protec to Hyperlite and uh, Lions Wakeboard Magazine. And of course, the the, the main sponsor in, in pool is uh, Mastercraft of Orlando. Yes. Yeah, it's going to be a good old X Star. I know, right up your alley, isn't it, bro? It is awesome. Oh, have you guys ever have you ever been hurt in a wakeboard accident? No. Yes. I cracked my head open when I was eight doing a fashion air. And I caught the front edge. <laughs> True story. We don't have enough time to go through yeah. the list of injuries. <laughs> I've got a few years on you, bub. Um. Yeah, I'm totally ready to shred the snow. I'm going to Colorado. When? For spring break. I'm going to be in your board bag. It's going to be great. I'll have north a, go I'll south, have a board. I'm south borrowing. go north. Are you going to um, <laughs> Keystone? Where mm-hmm. we're at in Colorado? Uh, we went to Copper last year. I think we're going to Breck. Yeah, Gunner. I'll ask Gunner. Gunner's coming down here. We're going to ride. Gunner, the one that was just down here. Not yeah, yeah, he's coming down for the contest. And then we're going to ride until Wednesday. And then Wednesday, like two-ish, we're flying to Colorado. And then Thursday... Shh. How's that sweet. go again? Shh. <laughs> Off the hook. This guy that I just met told me that ghetto people now, like the new thing, like you know how like guys go and whistle at random women, like. Yep. Apparently the new thing is to hiss at them like a snake. I'm really happy you told me that. Isn't that? <laughs> Can you imagine that? Like at a chick? I don't know. I'm married. I, I couldn't say. It. I, I'm I'm not married, but like just to think, just to think, like that's what the new thing is now is just ridiculous. Like the new thing, if you guys don't know this for handshakes, is Ninja Turtle. Can you can, can you, show you me? taught me? I, what is Ninja, Ninja Turtle? Ninja Turtles only have three fingers, right? So you have to form three fingers. Count up and throw. Oh, he's old. <laughs> it's pretty good. It's new um. Thing. Any cool scars? I have one in my head from when I cracked it open, and I broke That's my elbow. That's a doozy of a scar. Skateboarding. I can't extend my arm all the way, so. I, I'd be have. proud of that one. I'd never notice how big it is until we see this. Yeah, look at that. That's crazy. And, um, that yeah. Was scars oh, that that was butt. fun. Show it. Good crack. <laughs> crack my ass one time. <laughs> Um, Steamboat Springs. I've never even heard of there before. And it's probably in Colorado, though. Um, craziest thing you've ever seen at an event. Go, Aaron. I'll go first. Okay, thank you. Um, I was at OWC for a pro tour stop. This is like probably about four or five years ago. I had just, I was, no, I probably learned that. But I had just like around started wakeboarding, and this guy cut out, and then the flat bar was kind of way out and he cut out and did an S bend and pulled it down perfect right in the middle of the flat bar <laughs> and, broke his, and broke his leg did he purposely mean to hit the rail huh no no alright coolest probably one of the coolest things I've seen N- not pretty crazy it just it wasn't even like I don't know it was just pretty cool Norby Vasco edges does really to blind but hits the tabletop, back lifts the tabletop, and then finishes the blind. That's, that's pretty smooth. That's pretty cool, right? Yeah. Pretty impressive. Yeah, that's impressive. And it was so tight when he did it at Slider Spectacular this year. It was pretty cool. Did it in a contest? Yeah. That is awesome. Now, do you guys remember uh, quite a few years ago, probably about five or six, um, during the opening pro tour at an OWC, a guy from Tampa came out of an S bend there at the narrow point on the uh, would have been the west end of the the course and came out of an s bend right into the uh, flat bar and broke both his legs yeah, i guess you guys were too young for that oh i, I wasn't <laughs> i wasn't even in the wakeboard scene i just got into it like three four years ago maybe 
Yeah, that, that yeah, was you're, probably you're my newbie. most interesting yeah. one. You're definitely a newbie. I, I almost entered your name to a mass text, if you're wondering. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. In case you're wondering, things at one time, case you're wondering we're doing a Stoke meter on right now. <laughs> Never let anyone go first. I just didn't want there to be dead air. I mean, no one likes dead air. No, they don't. Chad, what kind of boat do you run at the camp? Uh, we actually run Malibu, the LXs. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. They're great boats. Um, pretty much the overall balanced boat in between a, a Nautique and a, an XR. Helps out in uh, training the guys. And getting them I like Malibu Wake. It's nice. Yeah. Gives a good buck. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's, it's more of like a kicker, I think, <coughs> than an antique, which is really lippy. It's more of a hump but than it, a... <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. It's all I about agree. sound effects. You like your voice sound effects, don't Yeah. You? I make the noise. I do it when I when I ride, too. Dude. I hear the St. Cloud event is going to have lots of things to do all day. Well, you got it straight, because there's a fair going on, right? Oh, my gosh. These guys over at uh, the Rotary Club, they put on a fantastic uh, uh, event. I mean, they got everything from uh, motorcycle shows to arts and crafts, food, um, beverages, a carnival, a big carnival sets up there. Um, they set, break down the streets, uh, several blocks for people to be able to walk around and awesome. enjoy themselves. Uh, they also have a bass fishing tournament on Saturday. And, uh, we'll actually stop the competition for about 30 minutes to an hour to allow the, the bass fishermen to come in and, and do the weight. We're going to scare all of them away. That's what... <laughs> no, we're going to get along. <laughs> all the- How many events have you won? Goes for all three of you guys. John, be nice and let someone else go first. All right. Uh, go ahead. Uh, I've won Slider Spectacular, which was the Pro Outlaw Division, and I won that. I've gotten dead last at last year's Spring Fling. Because <laughs> I fell getting up. Not yeah. a waste of fall. Yeah, I would suck. But you're not the first one to do it, nor the last. John's done it, so that's what makes me feel better. I, d- I Have did. Have you done it? No, I really haven't done it off the back. dock, but uh, I remember at uh, Tiger Pro Am, it was so nasty out that I, I wasted a whole pass and didn't do any tricks. And then coming back, I, I started spotting the flat bar and. Cutting out to it, and the next thing I know, I'm upside down <laughs> in the water and wondering how the heck that happened. <laughs> but it was probably the three feet waves that were coming across the uh, the breaks there. Um, and I how many athletes won... were there last year? Sorry, uh, spring sorry. Cut, yeah. cut yeah. You cut me off last episode. That's, that's cool. I did cut you off every episode. Um, we had over 35 riders last year. Yeah. Yeah, for, that was for awesome. the first time and uh, getting the word out, it, it was a good turnout. I can't complain, it and was happy. Yeah. I think I talked to you last weight games. You're doing something with a surfing company, right? Like a, a boat surfing? Remember I talked well, to you? I've gotten involved in wake surfing wake and surfing actually uh, have won the uh, Open Men's Amateur Nationals the last two years. So I'm uh, looking to move up this year. Something you know, like the that. old folks like me, that's what we do. Dude, wake surfing is awesome. Oh, uh, yeah. It's, it's, uh, cruise. it's fun to cruise. Time. It's fun to cruise. You can do more than just cruise on a wake surfer. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I've, ne- I've never seen anyone good do it. Really? I just play around myself. Yeah, like 360s, 540s, Bring shove it. Heck yeah. Shove it? Shove it. Yeah, those big freaking boards. Like yeah. people do frontside big spins and like. Mm-hmm. I'm working on a front shove right now. That's tight. Yeah. It's good stuff. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, dude. It's so much fun. It's not as big as a drone rush as wakeboarding, but <laughs> it still makes the fix. Yeah. yeah. That is totally cool. The cool thing is, is that, um, a lot of people don't realize that uh, Spring Fling and Outlaw Divisions on Wake Skate and Wakeboard, we actually do a cash prize for the guys. And cash just, prize? Come on down. <laughs> Amateur contest, get some cash. That's good. Menswear, first floor. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite board to use in a contest? Hyperlite, anything hyperlite? Um, Anything that is hyperlight. Yeah, anything that's hyperlight. I gotta say hyperlight. I've been with them for several years now, and yeah. they just hook it up, man. Oh, they, they, they have good boards cool. that last. Off that. the chain. The team bindings have had some problems this year, but they're fixing that. That they are. That they definitely Still are. great bindings, though. Yeah, totally, one hundred percent. So what uh what bindings do you use there, John? I use the audios, and I have no problems with them because they're awesome. And they're extremely well built. I've seen a bunch of. Let me 
make sure you don't mess up like last time. <laughs> That's just me, dude. Uh, you should have seen last time. Who's Ethan? Have you all been today? Trisha. Ethan. I think Trisha's I Ethan, I think. I think Trisha's the girl that sits next to me in math class. She's awesome. <laughs> she made us cupcakes last Friday just to make cupcakes for us. Trisha, don't go to school with you. Bring me cupcakes. <laughs> Obviously, he likes cupcakes. Uh, everyone's about cupcakes. Hey, guys, thanks for doing the show. Running a bit late today. So, Mr. Brown, what do you think about everything happening in the world of wake skating? I bet you've seen quite a bit of different things over the years. Oh, yes. There's just been a, a huge growth in the wake skating area of the industry and the sport. And it's, it's great to see the growth and, and the, the rail jams that are going on with it and, and so on and so forth. Definitely. I, I think it's a great thing. It helps all the sports and it helps everyone. So, Trisha asked the same question again. What are you doing? Oh, I didn't have Stop playing with your cord. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, um, back to another one. Travis, Chad, what is the level of most of your students? Uh, the students that I coach are, are mo- mainly on the uh, pro level. Um, that's, that's saying something. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I do take on a couple of uh, beginners, but I, I focus morely on uh, getting them to the next level, and that's uh, on the pro tour. Definitely. Yeah. That's very nice of you. It's very nice. Yeah. It, it, I like a challenge, and it, it's good. What kind of music do y'all listen to before y'all go in the water? Depends what kind of mood I'm in. I really, honestly, don't really have to listen to music to just go out there and do some tricks. I, uh, I don't have to make music, but sometimes it helps. Especially when, when it was cold. Some rap music definitely was getting me in the rap mood. Rap music? Yeah. Yo, yo, yo. Yo. Aretha Franklin was what I was jamming Yo, with. she's she's doing a concert in Orlando. You end lie. of April. You I lie. swear to you. Personally, I like Michael Bublé. You do? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> well, because I was going to say, just jam it, dude. Cause Deanna Moomow. <laughs> sorry, <laughs> sorry if I messed yeah, it up. Chinese? Diane Lumar. Lumar. Mm-hmm. You know her? That's Lumar? Yeah. That's how you spell Lumar? No, but that's how I always pronounced it since oh. I was a kid. I've known her since I was a kid. Muma. Chad, I just want to let Jim and I are watching. You're awesome. So glad to see you doing so great. Miss you. Well, thank you, Diane. I miss you guys, too. Uh, look forward to seeing you guys sometime soon. Yeah, and um, another question for Chad. Website address. It, the website address is time-onthewater.com. The reason why we had to put that dash in there is some fishing company already had time on the water. Oh. Go figure. So, go, go fish. Yeah. So we made a little tricky and added a dash in there. But so, I bet that kind of – sometimes if they don't put the dash in there, then fishermen are getting questions like, hey, how do I do a tantrum to blind? And they're like – What's a Tootsie Roll? Yeah. <laughs> Some candy you buy at the store. <laughs> uh, who is the rider that inspired you to get into riding? Um, to get into riding? Uh, yeah, who inspired you to I was a, start riding? Or I just... was a straight kneeboarder. Were you really? Oh, yeah. No, you were one of those kids. Huh? And then my, my dad was like, hey, let's go try it. My friend's got a boat. We're going to go out and go on the water with him. So we went on the water, and I was kneeboarding. My dad ends up trying Ended up trying wakeboarding, and he liked it a lot. And then next time out, I tried it and didn't get up a whole day. Next day, I got up. I I'm, I'm definitely wasn't born to do this. <laughs> uh, I got up second try. <laughs> but I also had Sean Murray straight being like, put a, act like you have a $20 bill between your legs. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, with that oh, bend knee things. Yeah. Keep, keep your legs tight. Just up. See, when I got started, we, we didn't have anybody knowing what the heck to do. Yeah, see, that's how I started. you got to figure it out. <laughs> it, it was more like slalom skiing, hold on and hope you get up. That's how I learned, that's how I learned how to slalom ski, too. Um, Aaron, are you going to the spring fling? I honestly didn't think about it, and now that I'm here with Chad Brown, he's told me he would, he's holding a knife to me, and I, he told me I have to. So I you, think, you can't see it. It's hidden. Yeah. Uh, I'm most likely going to be there, though. For show, I'd be getting that for show. He lives like five minutes to, away, so I have to if you're not there, myself. I'm gonna hang you by your toes. Yeah, That's you really do need to say. redeem yourself. I, last year, I went from like not being cocky, but like just knowing like all I had to do was just beat out one guy out of the six or whatever it was, and like I wasn't going into it thinking like. And you know what you did? I, I felt getting up. <laughs> like 
And I, I don't know. I was just, and it was really like bad. goes to show you. <laughs> Anything can happen. Yeah. Like all they do is beat one person. It still goes on in my head. And if that happens to you, you think about it for the next week. You're like, oh, I'm such an idiot. I felt getting. Mm. And then you, you go to bed thinking about it that night, and you just feel bad. Uh, so there is going to be a bass tournament this year. Chad, when is the spring fling? They want to know again. Uh, it's this weekend, March 27th and 28th. Of 2010. Mm-hmm. And Friday night, they got open mic night, so if any musicians listening in, if you uh, want to go in there and check it out. John, that's me and you. What? Our banjo band? Oh, I just do the bottle. The... You guys need to get with the Clay wine? Fletcher and, the and wine? get a jam session. I want to well, play the big thing that Chris O plays. Who's judging? Whoa. Or who's dri- is Clay Fletcher driving again this year? You know, uh, Marcus from uh, Miami is judges. Okay. And right now, unfortunately, Chris Law wasn't able to make it as a judge, but we're uh, going to find somebody to replace him. All right. Yeah. No, no. That's cool. <laughs> so we'll have a, a good crew of, of knowledge and, and uh, experience behind the uh, the paperwork there. The shark bite is great. It's awesome. It's the best story ever. So, um, a bunch of people saw my scars, and this girl told me that I should tell everyone I got bit by a shark. But it doesn't really look like I got bit by a shark, and I've told her that because sharks wouldn't tear me like perfectly down. No, How do you know? You, you wouldn't wouldn't have an elbow right now if a shark really got a hold of you. Yeah. How many falls do you get? It depends on what division you're in. Say, Barbecue Drew, what's up, brother? Say that you just got into wakeboarding, and you're a little kid, and you just want to go do some hot laps. How many falls do you get? Uh, well, if that's the case, if you're a Grom or a novice, you you get actually three falls. And say you're in the outlaw division, you're top of the top. You know what I mean? Well, you're John Jeffries. If you're the top of the top, then you only get two falls. You get to ride on the jet ski if you're like me. <laughs> <laughs> I got to do that too. I just I'm just getting all of the experience. Yeah, that's the way to do like it. I got it behind the boat. I rode. If you're paying I for it, why not use it up? Might as well. I rode on the jet ski and. Talk to the guy who always has the most motivational thing ever to say to you. No, it's man, it's cool. It happens to everyone. <laughs> like, listen, man, you tried. It was Everything was looking good, but then... Do you guys pay him extra for that? I would. What? For the action. motivation? <laughs> oh, yeah. That's why he does it so well. <laughs> I feel like Travis would be a great person to get pick you up on the jet No, scene. he would tear me up. Me too, but like, if you didn't know him... If Sean was here watching you, would you have done that? <laughs> That's how I feel. Uh, what's up, Drew? Uh, Drew, you should have made it back here for the spring fling. You're missing out. What is the worst board you've ever used? Anything that's not hyperlight. I feel the same way. I got on a Liquid Force Armada one time, and I was... Is this a joke? Like, they really made this thing? It was so light. An Armada? Yeah. I, I can't say I've been on a, a really bad board. I don't think I've ever been on a bad board. I've just been on birds I don't I don't prefer yeah. Yeah. to ride on. Other than what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, man, I'll try to come out there. It all depends on when I get to Papaws. Yeah, Alex, for sure, man. Hope to see you out there. Oh, I'll be there. I come in on Friday. Yeah, ride in it, bro. Baba Q. Sign up. Drew, ride in it, man. It's going to be tight. Randy Hollahan. Randy. Randy's up in a mug. Remember, if you need to know where to sign up, go to time-onthewater.com. Time-onthewater. And you can sign up right there. There's no dash after. Time-onthewater. I wrote dash. I wrote dash. I literally wrote dash. (laughs) You literally wrote dash. Look, you did two dashes. You're stinking retarded. I'm deleting it. This is our fine education at its works. Yeah, it really is. Welcome. Public schools, baby. He's going to graduate high school. Public schools. Time to... Time dash on the water at what? Dot com. Time dash on the water dot com. Look at your video feed. One more time for the cheap seat. Time <laughs> dash on the water dot com. There you go. He's already graduated. <laughs> that explains everything. Um, hack slash. Any other wakeboard boats? Uh, during the tournament? No, I think he. I think he just means out there. Uh, there is a boat show going on. Of course, Mastercraft of Orlando will be on. Um, 
showing all their <laughs> wonderful line of boats that they have. And then uh, Soterian boats will actually be out there, too. Definitely. And, um, oh, my gosh, your girlfriend is all up in your business. I love you, baby. Oh, hey. <laughs> hey. Really? Check this out. Do I look like I'm typing? Yes. Watch. Um, <laughs> we should have this event on Trout. <laughs> Yo, Killer Show, I got to go. I'll tune in next week, but I got jazz in the morning, so peace, y'all. Two weeks. Brown Bear. Brown Bear is my friend Jalen. I'm really interested in going wakeboarding. What tips do you have for a beginner? Uh, Jalen, you don't even need tips, man. You got this. Be patient with yourself. That's the best thing I can say. There you go. Mm -hmm. um, okay, new level. We can hold our own. I think some practicing needs to happen now. Danielle, he's mine. CTH, what boats are you running for the Spring Fling Mastercraft? It will be an X-Star. Hackslash says no wake surfing, question mark? No, no wake surfing for this contest. But uh, there will be some wake surfing contests that we'll host here over the summer. Why, why don't you guys incorporate that? Uh, there's just not enough time right now to, to get through everything and, and set it up. We want to just focus on the uh, wake skaters and wakeboarders for right now. It's cool. Yeah. And if I set up a wake surfing event, then I'm going to have to ride in it. <laughs> I'll judge you. For sure. I, I think I... No, you I didn't judge myself. still on your back? <laughs> I will judge you very highly. Nah, good answer. <laughs> Tell your mom I thought the event was being with Mastercraft. It is being with Mastercraft, Mr. Randy. Proper choice. It's not being yet. hosted not by Mastercraft of Orlando. I'll make a trip up if there's a wake surfing event. Drew lives in the Keys, too, so you know he's in. Well, Drew, just stay Why tuned and uh, we'll let you know. He, um, Check out the website for updated information. He's going to Marine Mechanics Institute. Mm. He's living the life, man. MIA. He's, he's living the life. Him am I? <laughs> yeah, thank you. Dyslexic. <laughs> Mastercraft going bankrupt. No chance. Not happening. Not happening. Um, will you be doing any wake surfing events this season? I think you just said, yeah, you would, right? Yep. We're uh, going to host a wake surfing event this summer and uh, possibly two with uh, another gentleman that I know down in South Florida. Who, uh, uh, where's this going to be at? Uh, probably at Lake um, Ivanhoe. Okay. Yeah, that's where we held the uh, state championships for uh, Florida for the first year. So it's a great lake, great this? site. Hmm? Did you ask about this? I said you should talk about it. Well, oh, sorry, Drew's going to Florida Keys Community College. But he is going to work on boats. I know that's for sure. Like wakeboarding boats or? Any kind of boats. Ivanhoe Weedville. Well, this, guy, this guy's got nothing good to say, man. Uh, it's supposed to be one of your friends. No, I don't know who that is. <laughs> I think due to economics last year, they uh, didn't treat the lake, and it was very uh, weedy at one point in time. So you're the trash talker here. Gotcha. Yeah. Hack slash. <laughs> <laughs> so who's your friend? I don't know who that is. <laughs> um, they want to know, not they, I want to know, what do you, do you have openings this at this time over your camp? Right now, at the time with me, I don't, but with um, staff, I do. Uh, how do they get in touch with you? They can either go to the website. That's the best way to uh, find out is just go to the website. time on the water dot. Hey. Um, Spring Fring second annual, how did it go last year? Went great. We were able to raise over $4,000 for $4, a chair. $4,000? Yes. 4, Three $4, zeros <laughs> after a four. <laughs> Uh, the proceeds went to a charity event. The uh, Rotary Club is a nonprofit organization that works on uh, several different uh, things. They mo morally focus on right now helping out uh, homeless families in the local area. That's the way to do it, man. Yeah, we were able to uh, help out 400 families with uh, a gross of uh, roughly $4,000. That's awesome. So we're looking to do a little bit better this year. That's awesome. Um, How did you get involved with doing the Spring Fling? Um, uh, a good friend of mine named Paige Hayward actually approached me and asked me to get involved. They used to have a uh, pro boat race there, those high speed yep. boats. And, uh, They'd have that this year too, right? They no, did last year. No, they didn't do it last year. The, the racing boats? Yeah, because no, the Wakefest replaced it. Oh, yep, yep. So that's how we uh, got involved. She uh, 
approached me and asked me if I would get involved in, and uh, set it up. So we took yeah. on the challenge, yeah. and it's been great working with a St. Cloud Rotary Club. You don't have the format either. Um, yeah. We've already gone over that. Oh, we had a question. Oh, hey, Kelsey. Thanks for finally saying hi. Uh, what happened to the Malibu Series event you used to do in Orlando? I know the dealership disappeared, but any chance you do a series event again? Uh, we're working on that, and... Uh, be patient with us, and we'll definitely get it up and running again. But yeah, unfortunately, Central Floor Betting Center uh, closed up the doors, and uh, a wonderful site that we were able to hold contests on. And um, Mr. Hollihan wants to know: Can people come watch the event from the water? You might want to tell them how. Ah, uh, yes, good question, and, and uh, request. We actually have a whole bunch of bleachers set up at the peninsula, right on off of uh, East Lake Tahoe at the mm -hmm. Lakefront Park. It's a, a great site. Um, it's about roughly, I don't know how, you know, 12, it's, 13 it was, feet. It was pretty, high. yeah, they were pretty good last year. A you could see everything. Yeah, which is unique for a grassroots competition. Uh, you know, usually we have to sit down on the ground or, or bring our own chairs and that fun stuff. That is uh, definitely true. We're able to uh, get some bleachers and, and make it a great seating. Also, uh, I remember last year, Mike Connor was the uh, announcer. Who's the announcer this year? Do you have anyone in mind? Or? Yes, actually, Nick Weinerker will be the announcer this wow. year. Wow. Yeah. Nick Weiner, doing yes. it big, dude. That's what I'm talking about. Mr. Weinerker uh, committed to it and is coming out and going to help out. That's awesome. And, um, Ian, yeah, I'm definitely into that. Let's Please, let's get into that. Um, spring fling. Besides wakeboarding, there's going to be wake skating. Mm -hmm. There's going to be a carnival going on. There's just... Oh, and the All biggest around. thing, dude, cornhole. They oh, got yeah. a cornhole competition. I have a going friend. On. What's a cornhole? Named Austin, who's like really oh, good at it. Oh, it's so much fun. You don't know what cornhole is? Be an American. Where are you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm done doing this show. <laughs> <laughs> and, um. Just to inform you, what is cornhole it? is. Yeah, here we a go. Ian doesn't know a, a beanbag thing, and you throw a beanbag. Thing. Yes. I, okay, I know what it is. All the big wakeboard contests. Now it catches on. Eight hundred dollar prize. No. no. Yeah. Did you not know that? I'm like on a pro level with that. I play with Sean all the time. You better get signed up and uh, get I, in the cornhole competition because they're having a, a big tournament. I'm terrible. <laughs> we should be on a team. How much money is it taking to do this year? I have no idea. They had, because I, I'm not in charge of that. They were on the other side of the there road. There were people right? with shirts. There's no way it's gonna, we're going to be able to take them We down. should make our own shirts, like white shirts, and just put... I don't serious know, cornhole put. players, guys. You better be careful. Yeah. You'll get hurt. Austin's dad goes to contests every weekend. Dude, let's just <laughs> whack him. Yeah, mess with the bull, you'll get the horns. <laughs> <laughs> that is definitely true. I was yesterday. Hang I got it smacked on. off. I'll be eliminated first. I'm going to cool that. <laughs> I've been there last year, too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, you know, wake skating will just be cornhole? I know that. That's cool. Right. Works for me. Yeah, I'm down. So, are we going to talk about this now, or... Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, Aaron. Momentary relapse. Love, that's, man. That's, that's, that's weird. Take your shirt off. Um, uh, not with me here. Yeah, no. I Sorry. can't do that. I have, like... I just have super, huge, huge, like... Muscles, and I don't want to just embarrass. I thought you were going to say nipples. Yeah. <laughs> Get your mind out of here. Yeah, seriously, you're gross, dude. <laughs> Did you ever no, I'm going chest here. Not lying. Oh, okay. Whoa! <laughs> it's not that big of a deal. No, I shake your hand. Anyway, the best of us. Last year, the walk was really long for the riders. Any change in that? My mom's coming at you, Chad. She's here. <laughs> she is. Uh, unfortunately, no. It's still uh, a, a little distance. <laughs> Look at it this way. It's a warm up. Hey, rolly back, rolly hey, back. Getting warmed That's all up, you need. getting ready for the competition. You're all loosened up. Um, they ever recover from the back seven of face? I heard John you go fall and go boom yesterday. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> so yeah. Um, Randy Hallahan. <laughs> nice, Randy. So That's awesome. I don't know. CTH might be one of the campers, or it might be his Miss Hallahan. I don't know, mm. but um. So yesterday I was, I was riding really well, and then I was doing back fives, and I was dropping out of them really high. And Travis is like, "Why don't you just go ahead and turn around back seven? And I've landed two of them before, so I went for it, and I, I could have swore 
I mean, I was like, I had the arm, I had the handle in this hand, and I was like, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna, land, I'm gonna land this perfect. Um, they can't see which hand you're talking about. Because yeah, the screen's in the way there. Backhand. So, uh. That'd be your right hand. So then I, yeah. <laughs> Same thing. Whatever. Back seven, yeah. And I was like looking down at the wake and I'm like, this is going to be great. And I came up probably six inches short and the first thing that touched the water was either the two fins sideways or the middle of the board. And I I mean, I was this close to quitting wakeboarding. But luckily it was your <laughs> face that broke the fall. Yeah. And my, I, my arms, <laughs> it was fast enough to where the point, my handle shot out, my arms went up like this and smacked and my whole arm was raised up and red and that sucked my mom's saying I whined this morning she just get out of here I don't feel good my neck hurts I don't <laughs> my arms mama's boy he could yeah. take a while he he that was, what's it my about? arms hurt mom can oh, I stay home oh my gosh um what what's that just go for it. Uh, right. Chad has some of, information. <laughs> well, a lot of people don't know there's actually limitations on certain divisions of mm -hmm. what you, you can and cannot do. Um, just to let you guys know, let's see here. Uh, on the right ones. Let's see. The, the, or did I bring the right paperwork here? Say that. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Uh, intermediate divisions are allowed up to three inverts, no mope tricks, and nothing higher than a 540 spin. Um, your Grom division is nine years of age and under co-ed allows no inverts. Boys and girls divisions are 10 to 13 ages allowed five invert tricks, no mope tricks, and nothing higher than a 540 spin. Um, your outlaw division for wakeboarding, show us what you got and anything goes. Um, Don't enter that one. What's that? That's my division. Don't enter that one. <laughs> Give him a run for his money. <laughs> um, Wake Skate Outlaw Division, same thing. Show us what you got. All ages. Advance is um, allowed up to five inverts, but only two mob tricks. Hey, I can be in that. And nothing higher than a 720. Ugh. No sandbagging, John. <laughs> do it. And how much is it to get into this contest? Uh, it's $50. 50, 50 bucks flat. Go. 50 bucks flat. Go. That's not. That's, that's really got. good too. And they just want to know who the judges are one more time. For a good cause. Yes, all this is for a great cause. It's it not goes, for him to just pocket it and run away. No. Uh, Chad needs like a new that. wakeboard. So. <laughs> I'll call up Greg over at Hyperbole. Yeah. <laughs> um, what was the question again? Who's judging? Yeah, who's judging the event? Uh, right now, it, uh, Kyle Himes is the head judge, Clay Fletcher, and unfortunately, Chris Law will not be uh, attending this year, but uh, we're in the search for a third. So if anybody would like to come out and judge, give me a call or uh, notify us at the website. And um, time dash on the water.com. Do it. <laughs> Do I sound like, do I sound you got a good announcer. A little bit. Since yeah. people are saying the event that. is a long way out to the bleachers, what about seeing if you could get a Boy Scout, get get a the Boy Scouts to help carry items out and the proceeds go to charity? I will uh, approach the um, Rotary Club and see what we can't do. But uh, if we don't get it accomplished this year, we will definitely next year and make it more accommodating for everyone to uh, get out to the uh, peninsula. What? Adam Fields broke his foot? Yeah, he broke her a while back. Come yeah, here. equals Weeks judge. <laughs> it happens. Um, I like how my mom says love it after some kid talks about Adam Fields. Yeah, right. seriously, that's not cool, Lisa. Way to go, that's Mom. Nice. Gosh. She's on a five-second delay. <laughs> you're on a five-second delay. So you just heard this five seconds ago. Oh, yeah, and now you're still listening to it. Um, but it didn't end. My mom, just, my mom is taking credit for the gas in the boat and everything right now. Dad's in here working on the show, and my mom's in here claiming all the credit. And ordering takeout. Yeah. Now what now I was talking about, boys. Yeah, now it's not after we call you out. So, um, let's talk about USA Wakeboard Nationals, Chad. Is that the Cable Nationals? No. Or is that... It's going to be Wakeboard and Wake Surf and the Extremity Games and Wake Skate. It's actually going to be held due to... Uh, Spring Fling Wake Fest, we are able to host the USA Wakeboarding Nationals this year. Um, That's awesome. The president, Jeff Walker, approached me and, uh, or Jeff Walker, Chris Walker, 
approached me and uh, we got together and uh, they voted me in and, and definitely coordinate and setting it up. Cool. So definitely keep your eyes out for uh, information on it after uh, Spring Fling. And um, where do you think that will be? It's actually going to be at the same spot as Spring Fling. That so is yeah. awesome. St. Cloud, baby. Chance to, come Chance to come out and practice for the Spring Fling, warm up for Nationals. And uh, the whole idea of Wake Fest with Spring Fling was also to allow riders to get ready for Wake Games and Windermere's. Yeah. Start up contest, start your season off right. Yeah, see where you guys are sitting at, what you need to improve back at, uh, on practice, and um, head out. Message boards are saying, also, if you want to practice, they're saying Trout Lake is a good place. <laughs> <laughs> and um, K- sure uh, Cable I'm Nationals in. are in Texas. I think so. For you. Be the one here that finds the cable every day. Um, Drew likes that. Glad you like that, Drew. Uh, I'll bring lunch. Well, you talk to that woman. Um, their <laughs> performance. Their um, they started their um, I can't think of it. The gravel tour. Yes. <laughs> and there is now this year used to happen a while ago, but they brought it back. There is a wake skate division. So if you're into that type of thing, be there. Sign up. I don't know the exact weeks. I know it's like either the third or sixth or something like that. But I bet you could go to the website and get the information. If you go to performance, or what is it? Perf, 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 perf ski. Com, um and just look up stuff on the gravel tour. You'll be able to find that out. Are they going to be at the event this weekend? Yes, actually, performance will be a vendor out there. So That's if cool. all your wakeboarding, wake surfing, and uh, water sports needs, and even snow. Snowboard needs. They they'll be out there, so go look them up. Oh, they are having a spring break sale right now. So. Yeah, if you want snowboard stuff, now is the time. Between Bank it ended the twenty first though. Never Did mind. Yeah. My sister Next year. <laughs> be there. They still have some closeout stuff. So go there. Why not? And they could have some stuff out there uh, during spring fling. So they, and get them while you can. Your friend says hi. Hey, Mike Hunt. Well, for all you folks that are, are pondering about registering, you can go to the website for Spring Fling Wake Fest, or registration Saturday morning will start at 8.30. And then we have a riders meeting at 9.15, and first rider off the dock at 9.30. So. Um, is Danny going to bring his souped-up truck to race? Oh, what Danny, that? DK? Is that what you're talking about? What yeah, I, I, I don't know if he's bringing it to race. I'm sure he'll bring it, though. <laughs> Are you serious? John, seriously, man? <laughs> I got, mine are not that girly. Is that a cockroach on a Harley? <laughs> uh, metal bug. Who's your biggest role model? Tiger Woods. <laughs> I, that wasn't from me. That's from Hackslash, but that's pretty good. Um, mine, biggest role model. I don't know, I'll go second since I've been going first. You're my hero, John. Yes. I've always wanted to be a hero. You are my hero. Um, oh, keep the desk biggest out. role model. I think you are. Just I have to say. You Sean. can't say yourself. Yeah, I was gonna I, say. I think Aaron I think you Bergen's just. Are just a great guy. Wait, is that me? Yeah, it is. No, no, no. Uh, um, no, Sean Ray for show. Um, helped uh, me out with everything. Sean is a good role. I model. think. I, <laughs> wow, is that you, Aaron? That is That's not is me. That... My body would rise if that was me. Aaron, <laughs> if that even stinks on that one. <laughs> I don't smell it. Um, I don't know why. I just, thank God. Maybe it's the hummus that Lisa brought out. I don't know. But it's great hummus, by the way. I just want to let you know. I'm going to have to say my biggest role model is probably Travis. Travis Moore. I knew you knew would say that. <laughs> my mother in law cleans her teeth. Really? Really? Yep. That's sure awesome. Is. I always run into Travis. Not really always, but... Isn't it nice there there are so many to choose from? Yes, there are. We're surrounded. Oh, and Mr. Hollihan definitely is my role model, too. Another role model. Hmm. Lisa Jeffries? Who faded? That was Aaron. The- Axe laugh. It, it was John. He laughed too much. Yeah. <laughs> definitely. You can totally tell. Sorry. <laughs> Oh, here come the bad ones. <laughs> yeah, Timoy is awesome. <laughs> Timoy is awesome, on the real. Everything I have in wakeboarding, I have to thank him for that. 
the delivery's here. <laughs> Dinner's on. Dinner, first floor. Um, so, what else we got for you for chat, Aaron? You got any questions? I feel When that... did you start wakeboarding, Chad? Oh, gosh. When did I start wakeboarding? Let's see. Uh, <laughs> Why is that funny, Aaron? Why is that funny? <laughs> Why is it funny? Huh? Huh? Wait, you, you think I'm old? Fart again? No. <laughs> <laughs> you, you asked me something, and right away, right as I started to answer, you're like, well, so when did you start wakeboarding, <laughs> Chad? Put you down the set. Yeah, ADD. <laughs> for sure. Huh? No, I, uh, what are you reading? What? You tell, you're asking a question. I know. Wait, Read wait, the wait. question. What question? <laughs> <laughs> you guys are who? Seriously. No, I, I got started when you guys were in your diapers. Nice. Are you sure? I'm pretty sure. I didn't wear diapers. I went free balling all the time. Did you? All right. While you're free balling, that's when I got started. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. While you were commando. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Um, see you Saturday, Mr. Randy. It's, Timo is not driving the event. Marcos oh, yeah. Moran. Yes, Marcos will be driving. See you, Randy. Take care. By the way, a certain little ripper will be 14 on Friday. I knew that already. Who's that? It's Robbie Hollihan. CTH? It's Miss Hollihan. How do you not know Robbie? I'm offended you don't know Robbie Hollihan's birthday. He's going to get you this weekend. That kid is the man. That CTH is um. Miss Hollian. Miss Hollian, I didn't know that. That's why I was. I didn't know that. You don't pay attention very well. I do don't. You? <laughs> That's why I was d- d- horrible. <laughs> it works well. I like the uh, charisma. But sometimes <laughs> I help him and he helps me, and then that's where we do awesome. <laughs> Thank God for both of you. <laughs> oh, I hate my friends. <laughs> that's not a very nice. Thing. <laughs> I like Ben. Dover. Um, what's the water temp? Will riders wear wetsuits? I actually took the first set yesterday in skin. You got some balls. And That's it what was... I did yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> I I rode in a full suit with Sean Murray. <laughs> wetsuits are optional. We, I was at the camp, and it was probably it was 70 degrees out. This was like as the water was still cold. And I was wearing a spring suit, and Sean had a thick full suit, and he goes, I wish I would have brought my dry suit today. So I don't doubt that you guys were on full suit yesterday. Hey, the last was. year of the spring fling, no one wore wetsuits, right? Well, it's a lot warmer last year. Yeah, so in this time it's year, not supposed to be as cold in March. You know, right now we're supposed to be in the 80s, not the low 70s. Yeah, it's tough. We're supposed to be like 85. Yeah, I. God bless I'm, sunshine. I have Amen. To be in the water, just because it's too cold. It's I have to be in the water. I wouldn't I, mean it if I didn't have to be. <laughs> I'd love to be, but it just doesn't work for me cold now. It's funny that us in Florida are like these last couple of days. We're just like, oh my gosh, it's sunny and not windy, and it's great. And it's weird that we we say that. Isn't it weird how it seems? I mean, I don't remember too many cold days that it was glass. Like I remember cold, forty degree. I mean, forty mile an hour wind. And then I remember like this week, hot glass. Then it'll switch back to cold and windy. Well, today hot was glass. yesterday and today were somewhat. Sunny, but it was crazy windy. I don't know. Out here in the alligator chain, we just when it gets windy, we go to the trout lake and ride. Well, how about we say some good prayers for this weekend that we have good, warm, it's supposed sunny to be, weather for the I actually saw fling. on the news this morning it Saturday is supposed to be eighty, Sunday eighty one with cloud cover. With how about with a wind situation? Because yeah, that could affect. It could get a little I ride, rough yeah, out there. I, I like I like riding in the wind because it mixes everything up. And you just have no idea what's going to happen. Yeah. I haven't been behind the boat so, so long. Well, you better get behind the boat real soon. You only got four days until spring flight. Come to my house. I know, man. I need a riding buddy. That's real. Okay. I invited you today, but what? Oh, yeah. What time did you show up? Oh, um, yeah. 6.30. I have a hectic time. <laughs> Key West is colder than St. Cloud. I would not know. I haven't been to Key West. Key West is colder than St. Cloud. Used to the, are you used to the salt water yet, Drew? More buoyancy. Um. Hey, what happens if you wakeboard or wake skate in a river, and you're going upstream? You yeah. can't even tell. Uh, upstream. You can't tell. Like when we you um, have to snap off the wake. Is it different? No. In, How do you know? Is I rode in Tennessee in the Pro Tour, but at, in Tennessee, 
If there's it was, a strong current, you'll, you might feel it. Everyone was trying their really. hardest tricks going back because if you fell, by the time the boat could get back to you, you were <laughs> all the way back down the course. Yep. Like, I think you could hit the transfer box, drop the handle, go back, get up, hit the transfer box again if you missed it on the way in, and no. you'd have two hits. I guess Robbie would be out on trout. After school, I'll... It, Miss Holly, are you guys going to be at your house or at the camp? I'll be there, John. Wait for it. Wait for it. Yeah. Wait for it. Five, Five seconds second delay. delay. <laughs> you heard that. Wait for it. Wait. There it now is. They heard at your house. At our house. Okay. Um. Hey, what's I'll up call with you guys tomorrow. What's up with the room? Did we talk about that right no. now? No. Can't talk about it at all. Can't talk about it one bit, huh? No. Wouldn't no. be prudent at this time. Uh-uh. <laughs> <laughs> so does anybody else have any questions out there about Spring Flame? Yeah, throw them out there. Or time, or time dash on the water dot com. It's actually our website, but time on the water. Yeah. DBA is tough. Doing business as. Any questions? <laughs> any questions? Any comments about what you think about this? Throw Flame? them out there. We got Chad Brown here, the man. I mean, it's not like he doesn't want to hear them. He wants to know how to maybe... If, if they're good comments, like, hey, look, you did a really good job last year. I really hope it's the same. Or if it's like, hey, I really wish you would have opened up this category. And you know what? That just gives them an option to maybe yeah. make that either this year or maybe next year. So, Do they have grass to walk in? In certain spots, they do. Yep. Yeah. Just wear, your, just wear your shoes. You'll be good. And I would recommend last year when I was there, I'd bring a skateboard or a scooter. Because it's very fun to cruise. I would bring a scooter, but a, a skateboard would be fine. Very fun to no, cruise. No, I'm talking about like a Razor scooter. Oh, all right. Not, right. Not, not like a moped. All right. Excuse me. My bad. Mr. That's H cool, and Robbie will be there. Come on over. You got to switch to code today. I'll, de- I'll definitely call you guys tomorrow. Um, I'm actually I'm out of riding friends. No one likes me. Yeah, I can tell you that. Loser. I know. That's why are you doing the show <laughs> with this guy? I know. <laughs> with you? Yes. <laughs> no, I some way, somehow, I got the sucker stamp of approval. I invited <laughs> Chad. I didn't invite you. Yeah. <laughs> Aaron, why are you, why are you here? <laughs> Robbie likes you. I like Robbie. I like you. Can you Robbie's drink there? Here's a good question. Can you drink at Spring Fling? Actually, if you're over the age of 21, yes, you may. But you cannot drink down at the peninsula. Where the contest is happening. And Correct. only grassroots riders can get drunk before they ride. And I'll tell you what, if we catch any riders drinking before they ride, they will be uh, taken out of the contest. I'm going to just go into the... Hope it was worth it, Aaron. <laughs> Chad would... If you're going to drink, do it after you ride. Let's be safe, guys. Ch- Chad. Don't Ch- 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 Did he pass? Explain some more really? on drinking where. Um... When you come to the event... This you, guy's down. Yeah, he is. <laughs> well, the great thing is is they have plenty of beer to go around for everyone. So uh, it'll be right there in front of Krabby Bill's where they set up the uh, beer stand, and uh, that's where to go. The beer garden. Beer garden, thank you. Beer stand, beer garden. That's where you go get the beer. Whiskey? <laughs> no whiskey. He, he's just, just down. He, Dude, just, he's coming. Just bring the Bring your own flask. flask. We will know who Axe Flash <laughs> is. Flask it, and you're good to go. Yeah. Hear no just... evil, see no evil. Chad, do you want Fred Ruby's name number? No I have it, Miss. I'll probably give it to him after the show. I want to give Fred a break. Uh, he he does a lot with the uh, the gravel tour and, and working with Bill. But hey, if Fred, if you want to come out and help out, that'd be great. But uh, I know how much you enjoy sitting back and actually being able to view the contest and enjoy yourself. So it's it's no big deal. Fred's working on a custom trailer with board rack. Really? Is he doing that right now? That's awesome. For Spring Fling? Fred, you're awesome. He is an innovator. He is. Um, you know what we should do? What should you do? I was just thinking about this. How much would it make sense to just get, like, you know those things downtown that people get on their bike and, like, cart people around? Why don't we do that at the Spring Fling? Uh, if you guys well, now that you put it together, put... I'll get approval for you guys, see if I can get approved by the uh, board. Now that you just put all the ideas out there for everyone to take, now that we're not going to make any money. Yeah, don't take these ideas. You <laughs> might get stopped. Hacks out no. first. So if you're viewing, you can't drink. If you're viewing, uh, you not can drink. Not down there. But not yet. Yeah, unfortunately, not down at the peninsula. Right? Mix it. You can um, you can probably like get on Krabby Bill's area and see the whole contest. 
We will have Alliance koozies that say uh, not beer. So maybe that will work. There you go. Who's going down there from Alliance? Do you have any idea? Uh, no, they won't be coming out and, uh, and being there. But, you know, Rusty Manoff over at Alliance has been a huge support in, uh, in getting the word out through the, the magazine. So. Okay. So how's Hyperlight been helping you with this event? Well, Hyperlight has uh, been a great supporter of, of myself for uh, quite a few years now. And uh, they were able to come up with some wake skates and wakeboards for uh, the divisions to win. Okay. So That's very cool. Got a lot of cool prizes right. from uh, Drag the, Case uh, and oh, Alpine sorry. Star and... <laughs> What's Alpine? Alpine Star is a clothing company. Clothing. Cool. Yeah, they, I knew that. Jeff Weather all rides for him. Yep, you're absolutely right. Isn't you know, Alpine? Isn't that like motocross stuff? Uh, they, they cover they cover all all different sports. Ah. Yeah. And um, dry case is that like? Well, I mean, go and explain that. Dry case is a, a a product that helps protect your iPhones, your regular phones, your your iPods, so your case? MPs, and uh, so that you can take them out on the water with you. It uh, keeps them completely dry. Cell phones? Yeah. You can uh, vacuum seal up your, uh, your, your phone, your MPs, your iPods, <laughs> and all that, and, and go out on the water and, and be able to hear your music or That's maybe pretty. try to talk while you wakeboard. But, uh, I Reed Hansen's do done it. Hold on, I'm going to do a tangent blind. Huh! Only you guys will <laughs> try something like that. <laughs> Super excited about the event this weekend. Thanks, Chad, for putting it all together. See you there. Bye, Miss Hollahan. Take it easy. Love Hallahan, you guys. For your sport. We'll see you out there. Um, what else we got? I had a really good question, and then you completely screwed me on it. What was it about? Whoa. Know, that language spring spring on this show? Aaron? Yeah, it was about Spring, it was about spring Fling. <laughs> What's one more? Won't be the first nor the last. <laughs> It'll come back to me. It'll come back. You know that song? We're doing work. No, actually, Chad Brown is doing Yeah, work. Chad Brown's really doing work. Uh, no, Chad's the man. Me, looking forward to see the, the seeing the Centurion Wake Surf boat. What, what was the question? Um, so for prizes, you, there's cash prize, but does that mean that's for, for only, an a- outlaw? Yeah, that's only for the outlaw division. And so the other divisions, is that where the prizes come in? Mm-hmm. I okay. got a chance to win stuff from ProTech, Alpine, Hyperlite, Dry Case, all that fun stuff. Yeah, Sharon. I think you got to do it now, Aaron. Sharon. Sorry, Sharon. After I leave, he can take his shirt off. Yeah. Oh, I'll do it after. Oh, wait. It'll be closed now. Or... Oh, no. <laughs> um, man. So, never mind. I'm not going to ask that. Momentary relapse there, bud. <laughs> no, I was. <laughs> no, no pants, Sharon. Not why I'm here. <laughs> pants, Sharon. Who are you? <laughs> Might be. Probably <laughs> Keith. Yeah, but that's not that big. No, he, if he was I, Keith he, Lyman, he'd be Maurice. <laughs> yeah, maybe Mo. Mo. So when we first started doing the show, Keith Lyman was on mm-hmm. after us, and we all like were these girl names okay. and messing with him. And then Aaron got the idea to write Maurice. Which is the guy's like the main guy's name, and told Keith to get off, and Keith actually shut the whole show down. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> he's like, all right, Mo, all right, see everyone. And I was trying to like, no, no, just kidding. And then Maurice banned my house, banned the IP address. The whole house. So the, the yeah, to where we couldn't get on Soak Meter, like, would do anything with the viewing, or, or you could view it, you just couldn't t- write questions. And, with the bowl, you'll get more. and my mom, yeah. my. Out of everyone in this household, my mom was mad. Really? More than anyone. Because she, she couldn't post on the Mer show. When mom ain't happy. Ain't no one happy. Happy Amen. wife, happy life. Okay? Amen, brother, man. I don't really have a wife. Or a life. So I don't really, you know. Sucks to be you. Yeah. Well, John. You be there? You what? be there one day, bud? Not with you. Oh, you would. Not. Who surfers? Oh, suffers. suffers. Duh. Everyone does. I'm ready to go uh, surfing, actually. I thought that was an R. I want to go watch. Um, wrong show, Sharon. You never know there. Stay on after nine. You never know. (laughs) Tom (laughs) Fouché will be on. (laughs) on (laughs) You can ask him to take his shirt off. Yeah, and I know Tom. He's a wildcat. What's this with you and taking your shirts off? That's Aaron. 
Looks like Sharon's just a big fan of you, Aaron. I think she, I mean, because her name kind of rhymed with my name. Sharon, Aaron, keep it real there, Chad. I think Hackslash is out. I don't know Thanks who Hackslash for, uh, is. Watch Mom's tuning in, in, Bob. Take care. Dead serious. Believe it. Be- believe it. Believe it. <laughs> Babe, please. All right. How about this, Sharon? How about I'll step out for a minute, and then you, Aaron, can give you a little show. I'm stepping out too. <laughs> Solo. Who See have him you? Here, Ollie. <laughs> <laughs> Chad, keep it real. We'll do. Appreciate it. Be good or be good at it. Babe, please. How about you take your shirt off? <laughs> <laughs> and then text us what it looks like. <laughs> go from spring to taking shirts off. <laughs> Maurice, sorry, bud. Sorry, Mo. This isn't how we want to run your Shannon, show. Shannon, who are these guys? Who are these guys? I'm Aaron Perkins. Chad Jeffries. Chad Brown. Nice SD. Yeah. Thanks for tuning in. SD. Who's SD? SD. I don't know who that is. Shannon rhymes with Sharon. Maybe it's Sharon in a false ego. STD. STD. Um, Sharon. St. Cloud Dude. St. Cloud. Wait, there's no C. There's no C. Saint, Saint dude. Short-term disability. Um, and how many STDs do you have? Zero. Good for you. you? I think I just drank after you, so uh, you, you answer the question. Herpes, gonorrhea, syphilis. Same turd, dude. You better I hope that you don't announce that and people are like, I'm not going to be going to the sprinkling because I hope I don't pick up Chad Brown's. Nah, there, there's no, no reason to threat. Yeah, we're not, we're not threatening here. So that's here. what STD stands. Same turd, dude. Oh, uh, I duh. see the blind man said to the deaf lady. Sexy turtleneck, gotcha. dude. <laughs> <laughs> where, do they, where do the people come up with this stuff? I have no idea. Oh, man. I, I put the dude in there, though. Dude. No, I put St. Cloud dude, so people like were like, dude, that's the only thing that they can think of. Maybe. You owe me. Who is the old man? Oh! Who he can't even cheat him. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Shannon. Yes. Oops. Shannon's coming after you, Chad. I'm an old dude. Well, I guess she's calling you out. Unless you're talking to Aaron. I, I am. I think it's Tim that they're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. I appreciate uh, that. Thanks that's Chad more. Brown. The man. Chad, Chad, Chad Brown. I think I'll take what pride I have left here and uh, cruise on out. Hey, Shannon. <laughs> oh, Aaron. Oh! Sharon, is he hot? He is hot. Who? <laughs> you got friends. You got, you got double team. Sorry, I'm taking Even though he life. is 50. Oh! You have a wife. Chad oh! Brown. Oh, on his finger. Ring on his finger. Sorry. Take Because if you like it, then you should have put a ring on it. You know what I mean? <laughs> and uh, she did. Uh, <laughs> woo. Oh. Beyonce once told me that. Seriously. She did. Over and over and over and over and over again. Yeah. I know my wife's probably sitting laughing. And when I get home, I'm going to hear about it. Yeah. In a good way. She's great. <laughs> Babe, you just are so loyal. And I love you. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she's going to say. Probably. <laughs> you are trash talking me. <laughs> you deserve a beer. You guys deserve You're a beer. You're probably the one being shared. No, that's you. not me. Yeah. I would you never do. That. <laughs> 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 oh man, how many viewers we got? There's some Italian people calling us right now. You guys are set up here. You do you like well. this? Yes. Well, we've actually done. This is our. I have to say I'm having a lot of fun. Are you? Oh yeah. Come back. Yeah, well, seriously. You guys will have me back. You I'll come back. Drop, drop by whenever you want. Honestly, Shannon is not me. That's, I will take the. I will take it for Sharon, but Shannon phone, is not I me. Want to check. Wait, who? Who are you? <laughs> who are you? I was Sharon. You were Sharon. Sexy turtleneck dude. That was me. Good lord. All right, well, since we're getting these kind of responses, you think we should tie her in? 
Well, I mean... We can keep going. Wow. We'll what keep do you rolling. guys feel? Do you guys feel that we should cut it, or do you feel that we should continue for yeah, another 15, 20 minutes? How do you How do you feel? Another 18 minutes? Tammy hey, Davenport. Tammy, how are you? Oh, well, she's just getting on, so we have to continue the show. Tammy, this is for you. I shut it up. Oh, God. <laughs> um, Thanks for tuning in, Tammy. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Wrong show, guys. <laughs> Um, Tammy Davenport, what's the questions you got for Chad? Do you have any? No, that's, that's, that's Throw not them mad. out there. Do you have any questions for Chad, seriously? Do you? That's not the question. That's not how I'm trying to say enjoying it. Enjoying it. We, we're glad you're enjoying it. I would enjoy it more if you'd ask a question. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Particularly one with a 18 minute long answer. Um, <laughs> you're answering it. <laughs> Alright. So, what do you guys do? I wakeboard. I just got in to kneeboarding, but I used to <laughs> wake skate. No, I, I wake skate. Chad Brown, he does it all. You can't even ask him. Uh, there, there's too much to go on. Yeah. You know, I'm a jack of all trades. Oh, yep. I saw your the spring fling ad for on Alliance. Mhm. That's pretty cool. Did you have to pull some strings for that? Uh, they yeah. Pulled it's called writing a check. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> you couldn't have been like, hey, Alliance. Yo, Patrick Wieland. Yo, uh... Well, uh, nothing comes free, but it, it, it's a great way to get the uh, the word out and spread out. Alliance is one of the best magazines around. Oh, well, how do you feel about the wakeboarding magazine, then? I like <laughs> wakeboarding magazine, too. Uh, they, they're really good, too, but if you ask me, I'm a little bit more favorable towards Alliance. Oh, are you? Yeah. I know someone that's on the other side. Rusty the Man Manoff. <laughs> What's a wakeskate? What's a wake skate, you might ask? Um, it's like a skateboard, but without trucks or wheels. I should make the, I should drag it out. With no bearings. You're wondering I'm the no coolest. Nuts. John is a... I didn't even write that. It's not even physically possible for me to write that. Anyway, it's just John a, it's just a board on the water. It's, a, it, it's just like a skateboard. You're advertising on the radio, too? Uh, yes, we are. Wow. What? 104.1. The monsters in the morning. Mm-hmm. My, my monsters in Will the morning. Will Norby shoot some video at Spring Fling? Do you know who Norby Vasco is? Mm-hmm. We should probably no mention clue. Spring Fling to him. We need to get Drunky out. Drunky the Bear. That's Aaron, Dad. Drunky the Bear. 104.1 Monsters in the morning. Anything that says Drunky and Bear sounds good to me. <laughs> <laughs> sounds cool. Shannon keeps asking, what's Wastegate? Ink. It's like, skate- it up it's like skateboarding on the water. What's the best way to ride the dragon? What? Uh, I'm going to have to say... I, I need a little bit fierce. more definition of dragon here. Yeah. Sorry about that. I also want to try doing something. It's okay, um, Tammy. Just tune in and watch. Have fun. I have an idea. I don't know if this is bad, good, but... I know a lot of people when I'm at OWC ask me, how do you hit certain obstacles? How do you go into them? What's the edge? Can you please show me? And I want to possibly do not a, like a short, maybe short video just on what edge I take to get over some of the rails or the way I position my body to maybe hit certain things and... I think you should do that. Maybe you know. I don't know if you guys think that's a good idea. Let me know, and I, I'm, I'll try to get with some people. I think that's a great idea for your your guys' show. You should definitely do something like. It. Let's see. Doug asked, just logged on. What's the show promoting tonight? Is the Spring Fling St. Cloud, Florida, and Chad's Wakeboard School time on the water. That's and right. performance and hair play. And Sire and Nike. And, and Jet Pilot. Gay. Shannon just <laughs> called you gay, Aaron. Shannon. Mm-hmm. You're gay. Did you not know that gay is my middle name? Uh, so she's probably calling me, like, you know, people are like, hey, what's up, Murray? Or, hey, what's up? I thought Murray was Sean I think Bunsen. I would have my name changed. Exactly. If it was <laughs> they, gay. They, call, they call him by their last name. Maybe she's calling me by my middle name. I would definitely Aaron should do a waste skate and John should do a wakeboard vid. Oh. Oh. It's on. <laughs> I'm down to do it. He's young boss. I'm only 19. How old are you, John? 18. You're 18. That means you can buy 
Cigarettes. <laughs> and? Tobacco. And? <laughs> Lottery tickets. Cool stuff. And? You, cool you stuff. You get to go to jail. Free service. <laughs> <laughs> and you can vote. That's what I was looking for. <laughs> <laughs> Drew, I met your mom and I and love her. Drew's mom's awesome. So Drew's dad is this, like, national champion barbecue cooker. Dude, right? I, I heard about this. I, yeah. I've... Want, wanted to experience it and I never have but yeah. Sean's even talked about it and for yeah. Sean Murray to say something's good, yeah, it's good it must be pretty good so I went to his house for his going away party I'm walking out of my truck and his dad on the grill John come here I walk over there the guy pulls off a dead slab raccoon. of ribs wraps it up here have your parents try this it's, okay, it's time to make it home I Dude, mean, you if you could BBQ possibly food. drive, drive <laughs> and eat ribs, which would be a probably pretty hard task. <laughs> Barbecue sauce. <laughs> Wouldn't you be rib intoxicated? <laughs> <laughs> you get pulled over, sir. Um, Try these ribs. <laughs> <laughs> you want the you want one? <laughs> Here, I'll go buy you some. I swear. <laughs> Love them. My mom had some too. Um. So, Chad, I mean, we got some new viewers. If you just want to go ahead and sum up the Spring Fling one more time and just quickly so yeah. people know what we're, we're going on. Quickly? Why would you say that, John? <laughs> what, are you trying to get me out yeah. of here? Is you invite me out is? here and then you kick me out. I see how it is. If you could kind of wrap it Feel up as quick as you can, kind of just leave out some of the important <laughs> things and uh, and you can go home. Yeah, that's cool. Well, right? Like we've talked about, it's uh, this weekend, mm-hmm. Spring Fling Wake Fest. Cool. It's 27th, 28th. We cover all divisions from uh, Grom to Outlaw. And women and wake skate guys, don't forget wake skate, same gals. Got cool prizes from our, our sponsors Hyperlite, Alpine Star, ProTech, um, Dry Case. Uh, it's being pulled by Mastercraft of Orlando. Gonna have a gorgeous X Star out there on the water. And uh, let's see, it's a two day event and it's a really good time. Uh, just besides the, the wakeboarding, there's Cornhole competitions. I know, Aaron, you're getting involved in that. You're going to be a champ in it. Be there. Um, Do it. Carnival, bass fishing. Uh, wow, what else? Arts and crafts, food, beverages, motorcycle show, car show, boat show. Um, it's just a great event. There's over 25,000 people that turn out for this two-day event. And open mic night, Friday night. But we should we should really get on that. Yeah, you should. Show them what you got. Could be the next marathon. You want to do a duet? I'm down. Me and you? Tom Fushi, bud. What's Sorry, we're not Tom Fushi. or something, you and me. He'll be on at 9 <laughs> that, be perfect. But that's loud. <laughs> he's really loud because it's in, it's uh, in all capital, caps. Yeah, capital letters. Does that mean he's really loud? I'm loud. I'm, I'm, I'm yelling and I'm sitting in front of the microphone. Sorry. Me and Aaron should be on a team. I think it'd be... They are a team right now. Are they, are they talking about Cornhole? I can't, I can't see you. Okay. 10? 15 minutes? Keep going. 10 more minutes. 15? 15? 10 more minutes. She said 15. <laughs> All right. Um, You're the cre- my, mo- no. my mother takes credit for everything. <laughs> <laughs> so. <laughs> don't worry. Shake don't worry. Stretch. They were going to close it, but I told them to keep going. For your mother, you wouldn't be in that chair. Hey. Hey. Whoa. Oh. Hey. Face. Hey, you if it wasn't for my mother, you wouldn't be in that chair for... either. Well, that could still uh-uh. Uh-uh. <laughs> Touche. Hey. Why would you move to St. Cloud? Guess what? Thanks, <laughs> <laughs> Hey, John. Feel what? Loud. Guess what I learned? Um, that, yeah, he's super loud. Check, check this out. Okay. Okay. Uh-huh. Okay. Oh, believe it. <laughs> oh. Go to three. Go to three. You're so talented. Go to Hack slash. Chad's. Students writing. Question. Chad's. Students writing. I don't know. I think you want... Talk about your students. One and a half. <laughs> well, when Aaron gets done playing with Sorry. his fingers there. That'll never happen. Chad's. Students <laughs> <laughs> As long as you're... It's a lot of problems, <laughs> right? <laughs> Um, Chad, students writing. Uh, can you be a little bit more uh, detailed on that? What you're asking? No, he about? wants to know about students writing. Oh, students writing. My students? No, he's just, no, just kids. He's, he's like, in your face. Like high school students, maybe elementary students. I'm going to ODEP Thursday. 
Yeah. Every well, guess who is also? This guy. He's there every day. It's not that. I don't cool. know. Out loud, I'm not really sure who you are, but I'm a cable operator there, and I do not work Thursday, but. I'll be down to ride with you if you're Your down. students riding the guys you coach. He just wants to know about your students. Oh, you want to know about my students? Who do you normally coach? Who's a, who's a local that comes there? Uh, right now, a guy named Mark Moss comes out. Okay. Uh, a young kid named Trishan comes out and rides with me. Um, locals, uh, well, we got Nick Jones that comes out with me. Um, Austin Hare comes out and rides with oh, us Austin. here and there. Work with him. Uh, let's see. Who else right now? Who comes in and out? Oh, Brett Lee. Brett Lee. Is that his name? Brett Lee. Brett something. Smith. Brett Smith? Yeah. yeah. Brett Smith hasn't been out for no? a couple of years. Yeah, I don't know what happened to that guy. Loud. You said you're going to be here Friday That's and good. Saturday. Friday and Saturday is a good day to possibly go to St. Cloud and check out the, uh, the wakeboarding scene uh, from watching a contest. Which is you want to Saturday and Sunday uh, at St. Cloud. It's called the Spring Club. Kirby's riding. Are they riding Kirby? I hope they're not riding Kirby. <laughs> <laughs> but Kirby does ride with me, and, and the kid's doing great. He's on fire right now. Um, Ethan, the weather out here, it's been pretty good lately. It's starting to warm up, finally getting out of a freak winter. So. Yeah, God finally decided to turn off the AC around here. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Loud, what what time are you uh, planning on being at the cable? Like you said, you said uh, Friday and Saturday, but do you have any times? Like, Don't you know, answer, because he's going to ask you if you're walking your car all alone tomorrow night yeah, or something. No, but I can you. tell you, uh, we'll be out there <laughs> at 8.30 in the morning on Spring Fling for early registration. Day of. Yeah. Um, <laughs> is there a late fee for that? No, there is not. That's not that's this year. Smart. We we're, we're giving the um, sweet all day. the typical run around this year, and that's giving a, a a benefit just like the economy. So there is no late fee charges this year. That's smart. Okay. They'll be out there when the shuttle comes out. What? Is there a shuttle to WBC? No. What about from the projects? Oh, when the shuttle, I was like, from the hotel. NASA? There's a hotel, I guess. From the hotel. Okay. From the comfort well, end, maybe? I don't know if you what time that'll be, but... Um, John's the crap, my thank you. My number is 407... I'm just kidding. <laughs> I dare you. 407 <laughs> I messed up in the last four. 555. <laughs> 1-800, Aaron Perkins. Cool thing about Spring Fling <laughs> is that we're actually uh, bringing in riders from Canada numbers. to South Florida. No, it's not. I don't have... Loud, what's your real name? For real. <laughs> <laughs> Loud is from Arizona. I'm not scared. That's cool. Hold on, I'll write your number down. 480. Stay in 35. Okay, spell your name. Nine. Nine. Your name. <laughs> <laughs> no, that might be his name. I asked him what his name was. C. 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 Okay, we need some questions, guys. We got like. Five more minutes. That's that his name. His name is Eric. How do you say it? Aharin. Aharin? Aharin? Are we saying it right? Is Aharin. It? Sorry, I came out a bit Aaron. late. What does that B. do to the Aaron. left of John do? <laughs> I love you. So it's Chad Brown. He's a um, contest director for Wakeboard Nationals and the Spring Fling happening this weekend. Uh, right now we have uh, roughly over 15 riders signed up. Wakeboarders and uh, wake skaters, they, they're slow. They, they don't know what early registration actually means. They know what day of means. Nolly. So we'll see a, a lot of people the, the morning of coming out and True registering, that. I bet. Yeah, we have the same name. Loud, do you, do you uh, Aaron, do you wakeboard or wake skate or kneeboard or all of the above? And or ski. Shoe ski? What exactly is spring fling? I've heard about plenty. Is it the first major contest of the day? It's probably the first major contest of the year. Mm-hmm. Starting the season off right. Wakeboarder. No yep. Besides uh, the gravel tour, it is the, the main first major competition of the year. It uh, allows riders to get ready for uh, the upcoming weight games and, and other events and see how they're doing on their riding. And uh, the cool thing is is that all the proceeds go to, to a great cause. It helps out local families in the area through the uh, St. Cloud yours. Rotary Club. Any types of cash prizes? Yes, for outlaw divisions, no. uh, wake skate and wakeboarding. And a sweet flyer, by the way. And it's in St. Cloud, Florida, on the lakefront of East Lake. Metro of St. Cloud is a better definition. 
Yes, the uh, the graphics that was done by our graphic artist designer. She does a wonderful job. Can't thank her enough. Yeah. There it is. Now, did you have to give the kids permission to put that picture up? Which one? The one in the background? One's Lewis Link. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I forgot about Lewis. Sorry, buddy. I haven't been out for a few weeks. Yeah, he's another one of my students. <laughs> What about the wake skater right there? Did you have to get like permission to use that? No, technically, if you take the picture, you own it, you do it. Oh, really? Yep. There you go. In your I face, Aaron. Yep. No, I just did. I didn't know that. I didn't know yep. uh, what type of program are you using this show put together? This is the. This show is put together better than most I've seen on here. We're using Vid Blaster, as you can see up in the corner. It's a, a trial version. You can download it off the internet. Um, yeah, it's pretty sweet. Hey, who's the cutie on your phone? That's my girlfriend, Lexi, who's on, but is too shy to say hi. Hi, oh, Lexi. Hi, Lexi. Hi. Take your shirt off, John. It's not okay. going to happen. I'll take it off. You take yours off. Who are you though first? You, you, you first. Sharon said you take yours off. I've had hair. You have a huge head. No, you don't. I, I heard that Lexi is a babe. Oh, dude. She has an E at the end of her name when you say Lexi, though, too, so we must be talking about a different one. But, so, yes, yeah, she's pretty cute. So suck on She's it. way out of my league. Is she? Awkward silence. Ooh, Hi, okay. Hi, Lexi. Hi, babe. I'm at. Hey, babe. Babe. Hey, babe. I'm enjoying the show, dude. Babe. Sweet. I know. It's right. fun, right? Yeah, yeah. Chris, hey, man. Well. What is the best wakeboard to ride, guys? The Anything Hyperlite? I would rim? go with the Murray. How did John score, babe? Like, Lexi. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Catching hate. Catching hate. It's fine. Is it? <laughs> Uh, I actually, <laughs> was it? I actually gave Lexi a twenty at the beginning of the year to date me for the rest of the year. So your mom pays all your friends to be your friends, yeah, doesn't she? Especially I, Lexi. I, I get paid. Lexi gets paid on here. a daily basis. I know. I got a check in the mail. Yeah, that's why I'm here. Mm -hmm. Lisa <laughs> Jeffries pays me twenty bucks to the show every. Yeah, cooler than I am. Cup of hair and what? Hey, do you guys know Murray? Do you guys know Murray? I I actually personally. I've never met the guy. No, <laughs> no, I'm I'm his neighbor. I am around him like every day. I. Uh, Murray. Murray. Yeah. Seriously. I mean, I, I quit. Twenty bucks is not worth it. So. <laughs> I always wanted to ride at Murray's camp. Do it, man. Dude, he, for sure. he definitely has one of the better camps. Get in here I soon. Think. Let's do it. You'll. You know, I'm sitting right here, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, if you any camp, like, if I were to choose one, definitely not. Bro, <laughs> come on. You're seriously Murray's neighbor? No way. Believe it. I live next to him. If you don't believe it, Is he as funny as he is in the videos? Yeah. He's seriously all around, like, yeah, the funniest guy. Also, he's the best at peer pressure. If yeah. You, if, if, if you could award anything. someone for being the best peer pressure, it would be Sean. Yeah, he will convince you to do anything. If it doesn't even Lexi, the guys it's next possible. to me are Aaron and Chad. Hello. Um, from what I wear, he's pure class. He is definitely pure class. So, Mr. Brown, do you do any other contest besides from spring fling? What is your favorite to put together? I can't say I really have a favorite so far yet, but uh, yeah, we do other events. We're, we've gotten involved in doing wake surfing events and, uh, and going to be hosting the USA Wakeboarding Nationals this year. So, th that's definitely a challenge there. All right. Um, is wake still is wake surfing still taking off? Yeah. Go yes, on, it go is. On, go on from it's taken off strong. Um, what do you mean by that? Well, that it's taken off strong. Yeah. Uh, it, it, it's been around actually a little bit longer than wakeboarding, and uh, it's just finally getting recognized. And uh, a lot of people, more I, I travel and go around, uh, more and more people are getting involved with wake surfing. All right, I'm I'm just putting up a link right now of something that you could possibly check this button. out. It's pretty funny. Need control. Sean's in it. Control, yeah, control. No, just control click. Based. Surf flesh or Lando. I mean the three. Yeah. All right, click on that. Watch it. Um, it's me. Oh my God, Dad! <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, who's that young puff in there? Can we get that off? That's Sean. No, I know that. And me. Um, watch that video. It's pretty funny. It's um, 
<laughs> Sean Murray. I like Murray, this one better. <laughs> Sean Murray, Daniel Watkins, myself, and um, I think that's all we had going. Yeah, it is. Yes, that is really John, guys. <laughs> I, I put it in a better foot. picture up here once we come back. No, I didn't get a splinter in my foot. I used to bruise my heels really easy, and then when I fell, like I guess I fell, then I was complaining to. Oh my gosh. You know what? I've got some old footage of you. I bet. And I was complaining to Sean about how my heel hurt, so he got duct tape and tightly wrapped it around my heel. And you told me Sean no. Mary. That was good. Aw, <laughs> Johnny. You know what? I have that footage from when uh, they filmed you for the uh, teen reality show that I, I was the host for. You remember that years ago? Is that one, were you at OWC? Yeah, it was at OWC. Is that when I almost drowned on an e board? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'll have to grab that footage. You have that? Yeah. Oh, I have to see that. <laughs> Luckily, the uh, producer gave me a copy of it, so I got to dig that out, and we'll get a nice out bucket ride. The show. Yeah, I did that. Have you seen that Can You Ride It video? No, I haven't. Aaron steps into five gallon twenty-two buckets. gallon. I mean, two, two five, five gallon, gallon buckets, buckets. Mm-hmm. and hits a tabletop on them. <laughs> I believe it. And I said the whole thing made it. Reveal, <laughs> reveal the secret of the buckets. We couldn't get up on them. Dude, that's awesome, dude. Let the rope pull Jay-Jay. you up. <laughs> Keep your shoulders square, arms out. Believe it. Maybe you just watch my technique. Keep your butt on the back of the uh, the five gallon bucket. Dude, I literally was standing up like shoe skis. Like it was a... <laughs> we tried. I've, I've never tried skied in my life. Several times. <laughs> that's awesome. Did you try? Man. Did you try on the cable or behind a boat? Try a dock start. I literally would like the way it worked for me. Is J oh on the boat? That's why you can't. I don't think you. Got it has to be straight acceleration. Yeah, it has to be like on the cable. I was able to slide off of the like of the, the dock. dock. Yeah, and then I had enough speed that once I hit the water, it was enough to keep the board the buckets out of the out of the um, water. So, what's your favorite trick? My favorite trick is back five. Mm, I really don't have a favorite trick. Not, a, not back seven used to be my favorite trick. <laughs> Why is that? I got worked. <laughs> oh, lay, well, that JJ, that makes sense. You should Laying you back just keep trying that. Try standing. That that should work. Go to the cable. Yeah, I, if you go to the cable, JJ, do you live in Florida? If or you do, get access to a cable? Yeah, I, feel, I feel that if you went to the cable with two no. buckets, that they probably wouldn't let you do it. Dude, I. I well,